Beth from Rock Your Notebook and I am up with a mixed media tutorial for you. Today I am working in my B6 Traveler's Notebook insert with the black mixed media paper. And what you're seeing me do here is this is a principle from one of Wilna Furstenberg's class. And I was printing it trying to get it to print right. And this ended up printing on Tomoe River paper in black and white which is not what I was trying to do before. Um, but I didn't want to waste this print and I figured uh, why not use it? So that's what I did. What I'm doing here is I'm using Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium, which is my favorite product for this kind of stuff. And I adhered that down on the left side. And then I put some of this on the right hand side just to kind of prep my page. Um, because I'm going to be using watercolors here and yes, technically I could use watercolors on this notebook, but without any prepping, they're just going to like sink into the paper immediately. And I wanted them to kind of float onto the paper as opposed to sinking into the fibers of the paper. So that's why I have the matte medium everywhere. Now these are brand new watercolors. Like I literally got them and then decided I needed to play with them to see what was going on. So these are white night watercolors. I have never used them before and I don't know how to take them. I need to play with them some more. But I would tell you that they're supposed to be watercolor but they were so opaque to me that they seem to react more like a gouache than a watercolor just because of the opaqueness of them. Um, I don't know if all white night watercolors are like that or if it was just this set. So I'm really tempted to like buy some other ones to see if they're all like this or if it was just this pastel set that reacted like that. I'm not sure. But alas, this is what I ended up doing with them. So I added color everywhere and dried them all up. And I have to say the end result to the final result of this mixed media spread turned out way better than I had anticipated. I went into this not knowing what I was going to do. So then I couldn't find my favorite new Nouveau glue. And I tried to use the glue that was in my fine liner bottle for this. And let me tell you all, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely going to link down below to this Nouveau glue that has become like my new favorite. But I only dried this for like a few seconds and it was like completely dry. It wasn't tacky enough for these gilding flakes, which is like my new favorite thing to do in my mixed media art. And I was thoroughly disappointed because I didn't get what I was going for here because it was like completely dry. And you can see I have these gilding flakes that are now uh, sticking to my fingers more than they're actually sticking to the art journal spread. So I put that to the side for a second and I move on and I'm looking for a, um, what am I calling it? A stencil. I lost my complete train of thought there. I'm looking for a stencil to use with another Nouveau product that um, I haven't tried before. And it is, what do you call this stuff? It is a fluffing mousse to give a distressed look. So I left this in here and yeah, I was looking at it cause I was like, really? This is what it looks like when you open it. I was looking at it and I was like, wow, this is not what I expected when I opened this product. But I will tell you, I was like, Holy cow, this stuff is pretty darn cool. So you smear it through your stencil or you smear it however you want to smear it on your um, page. And then you heat it with a heat gun. So for this, you do need a heat gun, okay? Um, but you heat it with your heat gun and then you get this bubbly, vintagey look to it. And it's amazing. Oh, it's called Expanding Mousse. Again, I will link to all of these products down below. But you can see it right there. How it's like bubbling up. 
And then in the pictures at the end of the video, you'll really see the cool effect that this stuff gave me, which was just, um, it was amazing. Like, I, I feel like I need to go buy more of this stuff. Anyways, the end of this video is me grabbing the Calico Collage words, and I love these words because one, unlike stickers, I can print them out whenever I need them again. Two, they always look so fantastic on my pages. And uh, three, they're mine forever once I buy them once for like four bucks. So I highly recommend these words. So I cut out the words and it was like one strip. So I cut the strip into three pieces. And I'm using my golden gel uh, to stick these down because I'm sticking them down on top of that mousse that I just like puffed up. And I really wanted them to adhere. Um, I ran out of my heavy gel and so in hindsight I would like to use heavy gel for something like that just because that mousse is so um, up and dimensional but I didn't have that the gel worked fine um, so I used that and then I found my nouveau glue and I added some more of the golden flakes um, here and you're gonna see the huge difference so Again, zapped it with the heat gun for a few seconds. I put these on and then I have some um, matte medium in between, not matte medium, but the gel, the golden gel. I had some from where I stuck down the words. So I stuck a little bit more um, in those areas just to, I don't know, just to add some more. <laughs> it was wet and I thought it was a good idea. I am obsessed with these things. I need to play with them more. But the end result is that I'm super happy with this. And I would love to know what other mixed media things that you would like to see done in a traveler's notebook. So please leave me a comment and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you hit the subscribe button on my channel because that really helps me out. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, bye for now.